Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to use the React Native ViewShot package to help take snapshots of different views in your React Native apps. So first off you're going to import that capture ref from React Native ViewShot, that's what you're going to use to actually take that snapshot of the view. And I'm going to import use ref hook and use state hook. The use ref hook is what I'm going to use to get the reference to the view that I want to take a snapshot of. And the use state hook is what I'm going to use to sort of show the snapshot on screen. So I'm just going to add my view here that I want to take a snapshot of. So I'm just going to make a real simple view. It's just going to have some contact details. So you might want to use this snapshot sharing. Maybe you have like um, a game and you have high scores and you want the uh, user to be able to share their high scores with their friends. And they might have like a screenshot and some like cool things that they've done in the in the game um, then you might want to share be able to make allow them to share it and that will like sort of give you some more marketing as well because people will be able to see your app and it'll get more publicity that way um, so that's why you might want to use this um, react native view shot package so I've got this contact details card here and I'm just going to give it a style now just so you can sort of see that's not such a boring thing I'm going to give it a border, um, just a very simple black border and a background color. So a black border and it's going to have a thickness of 2 pixels. And I'm going to go ahead and give that a background color. It's going to be a cyan background color, which is just a mixture of green and blue. Gonna go ahead and apply that style to the view. And then save, and you can sort of see that there's a little contact card there. I think it'd look a bit better with some margin, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. And a bit of padding as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my um, use ref hook to, um, so that I can pass that to the view and get a reference to the view which I can then use to take a snapshot using capture ref. So you basically pass that as a property to the view and you're just passing your view to snapshot ref that you've created. You can name it whatever you want. Now that I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and create a button. And when I press this button, it's going to go ahead and create my snapshot. So I'm going to just call it, um, give a title of take snapshot. And on press, I'm going to call this function that I'm going to define called snapshot. That function is basically going to go ahead and call that capture ref function. And I'm going to make it asynchronous because um, the capture ref function is asynchronous. The capture ref returns a result, so I'm going to store that in this result variable. The result is the image that is from the capture. It can have different types depending on the options you pass in, and you can pass in options for the quality you want as well. Um, I'm going to leave those default at the moment, which is just giving you back a PNG. I'm going to console log the results so you can see what I get back. I'm going to open the terminal so you can see the output of that console. I'm going to press take snapshot and you can see it's outputting the PNG because that's the default result without changing the options for capture ref. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a state variable. The state variable is going to store my snapshot image and that um, then will trigger the UI to update whenever I set the snapshot image and um, you'll be able to see it on screen. It's not going to do anything exciting when I um, update because I've just got sort of a static contact card. But if like I had different um, different options that I could share, then it would update accordingly. 
So I'm going to just check whether that snapshot image has anything and if it does then I'm going to display um, some text that says snapshot preview. And then below that I'm going to show if there's a snapshot image I'll show the snapshot image. So you can see snapshot preview is not showing at the moment even though I saved and that's because there's no snapshot image um, set currently, it's currently undefined. So I'm going to use an image, I'm going to use resize mode as contain. That basically means that my whole view is going to be shown at the right um, sort of aspect ratio. And I'm going to give that a style, which I'm going to define in a minute. You need to specify a width and height um, for your image. And I'm also going to provide the source, which is going to come from the um, result, which is going to be stored in that step, snapshot image state variable. So now I need to go ahead and define that style that I've just specified. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm wanting to specify the width and height and I could also define any sort of margins or anything like that that I want. I'm just adding this to make it look a bit better. Cool, so now that I've got that, when I go ahead and take snapshot, okay, so I forgot to import that image in my from React Native, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And when I save, I should be able to take a snapshot and it'll show on screen and you can see that it's got that contact details and it looks exactly as the, um, as the view did. Um, you can also pass in options like I mentioned earlier, so I'm just going to show you how you can change what type of um, result is outputted. So I'm going to use data URI, which basically is base64, but with that um, URI part of things so that you can show it inside an image. So I'm going to go ahead and take snapshot and you can see that it still shows, but inside the console you can see that um, data URI output. If I were to change this to base64, then it should stop working and the reason for that is it doesn't have that prefix that allows it to be um, referenced from within the um, image source. So you can see it said could not find image. Um, but it does have like that same output. So if I go back to data URI, you'll see that once again, it'll be able to work. Cool. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. All my code will be available on GitHub. And if you have enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe for more content.